Welcome to episode 2 of the devlog for my Gradius or Nemesis clone. Uh, this is the third of nine weekly Godot projects that I will be doing through November and December 2021. I got a plan to learn enough about game development using the Godot game engine so that I can make a proper game and publish it on Steam by next Christmas. And these weekly projects are the first step of that plan. So I'm plotting along and here's my progress since yesterday's devlog. Uh, what I've added is basically shooting and enemies. For the firing there's no delay or maximum fire rate, it's just how fast you can press the spacebar. Uh, you need to release the spacebar though for the next shot. Um, also I added a sound for the shot to make it more lively and the shots will kill enemies and they will also be stopped by the terrain. So far I've added two types of enemies, the Goran and the Jumper. Uh, there's really a lot of cool information on the Gradius fandom page. Uh, here's for the Goran, which is this one here, and here is for the Jumper. There's a full list of enemies on the different levels on this fandom page. Um, so I'm doing something uh, inspired by the first level, which is called Volcano. And on the original Gradius, there is a total of nine enemies on this level, plus two types of bosses. So I don't think I will implement the full list of enemies, rather just go with a few of them. Uh, I will base all my enemies on what was in the original Gradius though. I've implemented some enemy behavior. First up the Goron. It will move in a sine wave pattern and it will not shoot. So usually they come in pairs, so I just place them in pairs on the level. Uh, I coded both of the enemy types so that they will just stand still until they em enter the camera view, and then they will activate and start to move. And if they're not killed by the player, they will dissolve and destroy themselves when they exit the camera view. Next up, the jumper, and which will jump obviously. So I set a fixed jump speed and gravity. Uh, also, I coded the movement so that it will jump back and forward a couple of times. And then if it's not already killed, it will go out of the screen and dissolve itself. For all of the enemies, I made a kill explosion, which will spawn when they are shot. So this is a little smoke animation ripped from the original Gradius. Uh, and then there's also a sound when they are killed, which makes things a little bit more exciting. I am using a few collision layers and masks here and at first I was a little bit confused with the collision layers and the collision masks. So what's the difference between a layer and a mask really? Uh, and then I found a good way to think about this on the Godot Q&A pages. Uh, so like the layer will tell the engine which layer something exists on while the mask will tell it um, to collide with other objects that exist on this mask so I guess I can think of this as using a layer if other things will collide into this object or a mask if this thing will collide into something else and uh, and then both if that's the case and then some little development help things I added a start position as an export variable in the main function so that I can just type in here where I want the player to start and that will make things a little bit easier when I want to test different parts of the level Going forward, I will make some more assets and terrain tiles and then set up the tiles for the entire level. And I will make at least one more enemy type and then place out all the instances of the enemies. And um, I will implement the behavior and shooting algorithms for the rest of your enemies. Uh, yeah, so that's the short term. And beyond that, I will also see if I can do a boss at the end of the level and maybe add a second level and have some type of level transition between them. For now, I'll be concentrating on completing the level and getting it to work properly with all the enemies. Uh, I'm not going to be too concerned with things like menus. I'll be working on this project for a week only and since I did menus in my last project, I won't spend much time on that here. Uh, so the goal here at this stage is making a lot of games and quickly, not necessarily to make complete and fully polished games. Yeah, so that's it for now. I'll see if I can get a little bit more done this evening and tomorrow. And then I might do another little devlog episode tomorrow sometime. If you like this, as always, I'd appreciate it very much if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow me, click the subscribe button. And then I will see you in the next one.